Hello everyone, my name is Paul Snigowski. I'm delighted to be the faculty host for Penn Alumni Travel's Antarctica trip this fall. I've been a faculty member in the Department of Biology since 1997. My principal research area is evolution, but I began with studies of bird migration, uh, and I remain fascinated by geology, natural history, and wild animal populations. Antarctica is a dream destination for me, as I'm sure it is for you. I hosted Penn Alumni Travel's Patagonian Frontiers tour last spring, and we got as far south as Cape Horn from where one can look across the Drake Passage uh, to, toward Antarctica, though one can't see it. So I'm very excited to go the rest of the way south with all of you uh, to get actually to Antarctica uh, this year. The first two days of our itinerary, before we embark on our cruise to Antarctica, we will visit Buenos Aires, the city, and we'll also visit uh, the Beagle Channel area down in Ushuaia, Argentina. I've been to both places, and we're in for a treat. Buenos Aires is a cosmopolitan city on a grand scale. The Beagle Channel is an area of stunning natural beauty. Um, it's an area where the Beagle uh, voyage went through, uh, between the Atlantic and the Pacific Ocean. This was the voyage that Charles Darwin took, the young Charles Darwin. So in my talk on Darwin in South America, I'll talk a little bit about Darwin's experiences both in Buenos Aires and in the area of the Beagle Channel. And I'll take some time to focus um, in the area of the Beagle Channel on Darwin's experiences and encounters with a people called the Yamana. This influenced him in various ways in his thinking about evolution. As for the cruise to Antarctica itself, in my own mind, I'm likening this in my imagination to a trip aboard a fabulous spaceship uh, to an amazing planet full of all sorts of wondrous new life forms. Except that this is our own planet, an area of stunning natural beauty on our own planet, a continent whose affairs are governed by no single individual, nation, or corporation, but instead by a multi-party, multi-nation treaty that emphasizes peaceful purposes, scientific research, and the sharing of the results of that scientific research with the world. I very much look forward to joining you on this trip to Antarctica. See you soon.